everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a video on a fracture humeral brace. Some people call this a Sarmiento brace. Uh, that's the name that it's gone by for a long, long time and it's a very, very popular name due to uh, the history of the name. When it comes out of the package, it'll come out of the package looking something like this. It'll have the strap that goes around the shoulder and the chest tucked into it. And we'll go ahead and remove this out of the way for the moment just so I can show you the rest of this. Then it'll have the two straps that'll go around the upper arm. This of course is the cuff that'll go around the shoulder, the shoulder area, which we'll talk about in a few moments. And when you undo the straps, you wanna undo the straps so that they come all the way out of this first loop right here. I'll come in close so you can see the loop. There you go. And the reason you wanna take these all the way out of that first loop is because you're gonna open this up and you're gonna measure this up against the good arm, the arm that's not fractured, the humerus that's not fractured. You're gonna, you're gonna do your extending and your measuring out of this around the good arm before you go and approach the, uh, the fractured arm, the injured arm, if you will. And then we're gonna apply it and I'll show you how this works as well. Sometimes when this is in the package, tucked in, tucked in with the, with the strap, the extra strap there, will also be a stockinette or a sock of some sort. Uh, which you can place underneath for comfort. And a lot of these also come with a little makeshift sling that Velcros around the shoulder and, and like that. Uh, or if you prefer, a lot of the patients I have found, that, that little, the little strap that acts as a sling is fine, but I have found that a lot of patients just prefer the standard sling for comfort reasons if you're gonna be wearing it uh, all day long. Um, if it does not come with one of those little uh, stocking it or, or hoses for the upper arm. You can make your own by getting the standard stocking net that you would have in a, inside under a cast. You get your stocking net, uh, measure it to length, of course, you wanna have a little extra. And then what I like to do is I like to go about a third of the way up, right about here, and I like to cut about maybe a half inch in, half inch to an inch in, like so. And then I like to do this. This is, this is really cool right here. It's a cool little trick and I'll show you what this is all about here in a few minutes. But what you're basically doing is you're cutting about a half inch up, excuse me, excuse me, a half inch in and all the way up to the top so that when you're done cutting, it should look like that. And you'll see why here in a moment. I'm gonna bring a, I'm gonna bring a patient in to, uh, to show you how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna pause right there in just a second and we'll go ahead and start applying the, fra the humeral fractal brace. Okay, so we've gone ahead and grabbed a hold of a patient here to demonstrate this for you. Um, we're going to we're going to assume that this is the injured arm, the the, and we're going to say that he has a he has a proximal humerus type fracture, which we're going to address in just a moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come around the other side, and I'm going to measure out my stocking net to length, just like you see me doing here. Make sure that I have enough here. I actually have quite a bit extra, so we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. I'll lay this right here just to know that we have it there. And then we're gonna use the good arm, like we talked about a second ago, we're gonna use the good arm to measure the spacing between the four panels that are here. So one, two, three, four. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the shoulder, the shoulder piece up against it. I know you can't see in this video, so I'll show you in a second. You're gonna place the shoulder piece up against the shoulder and you're gonna bring all the straps around the arm and measure out, which we've already done. So I'm gonna place this down for a sec. And to make it easier on the patient, if they're standing, take a small step to the back, a little bit more, right there. If they're standing, have them lean forward at the waist. Have them lean forward and let their arm just hang. Keep leaning forward, keep, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming right about there. And you'll notice the arm is starting to hang away from the actual torso. And this is gonna be much, much more comfortable for the patient as you're applying everything. If they are very, very adamant about leaving their sleeve down, you can do that, or you can cut the sleeve away. Or if they've come in presenting with like a hospital gown or whatnot, or a tank top, you take the, the, the strip that you cut of stocking net, you slide it up the arm, take your time because of course they're broken. You're gonna take the taller piece 
to the outside and the, the shorter end under the armpit, under the axillary space. So it's going to present something to this effect, just like so. And that way they'll have a nice soft stockinette between the flesh, in his case the flesh and the t-shirt sleeve, and the actual brace, which I'm going to grab now. You take the brace, and we've already measured it out on the good arm. You place the brace over the shoulder like so, and I'm going to have you stand right there for a sec. You can see the four panels. You lay it on like so, and because you have, if it starts to bother him as you're applying the brace, have him lean forward more. Have him lean forward. It takes the arm away from the torso, and you can bring the other two panels up under the arm. Turn this way a little bit so they can see. You can, right there, there you go. You can see how the other two panels come, you can bring them in, and that way you're not, you're not rubbing against the torso. So then, if I might borrow your good hand to hold that panel right there for me, just like so. Thank you, sir. Then you're going to take the straps. This is, this is your extra strap we're going to talk about in a minute. You take the two shorter straps, you run it through the buckle that we removed earlier, you bring it in about medium tight, not too, too tight, just medium and snug. Go ahead and let go, I got you. And you're going to bring this around, you're going to Velcro it, and you're going to do the same thing with the bottom strap. You're going to take the bottom strap, run it through the buckle. This will offer support of the humerus fracture while they're healing. And if you wouldn't mind, stay right there for just a sec so we can get a good view of that. This is the extra strap we were talking about that's gonna come around the whole body. If you could, turn this way just a hair, lift up your good arm for me. You're gonna bring it underneath the arm. Come this way so they can see. Thank you, sir, right there's good. You're gonna bring it underneath the arm and through this over the shoulder like so. And what this is gonna do, there's a buckle right here. Turn this way a little bit. There you go, there's a buckle right here. You're gonna run it through the buckle. Just like that. Fix that. There you go come back around so you can get a full view. So right here, you can actually see what the back of the brace looks like. As you turn, you can see, there you go, come around, there you go. There's the front of it right there. This should be resting right above the nipple line. The shirt. And then, if you choose to, you can have them wear a sling for comfort reasons, but if they're gonna wear the sling, make sure that make sure that it's not going to impinge right here at the uh, at the fold at the uh, anticubical fold. And hold there. And oops. there we go. And that is a humeral fracture brace slash Sarmiento brace. Thank you very much for watching.